moon River Wider than the mine I'm crossing you in style What's up you guys, David here, and I just want to say I'm going to start vlogging more often again, mainly because I feel like right now I want to take a break off some of the heavily edited videos I make, mainly because it's a lot of work making those videos, you know, and it's exhausting, the editing that goes into it, so I might just start vlogging again, sharing my thoughts like usual, just giving you guys some transparency. I'm going to start calling these little vlog videos Walking with David, that's what I'm going to call it. I feel like that name really suits what this is, because when I see a Christian following Christ you know I feel like we're all walking together basically I'm taking you people along my journey into becoming closer to Christ because I'm all for unity that's why I love when people comment on my videos because I really love bringing people together I really love interacting because I feel like we're stronger together than we are alone today I was actually just browsing through the internet like usual I noticed a certain pattern I see that the media tries to get us to hate our enemies there's a lot of people who has done sick things in this world, believe it or not. And yes, it is unjustifiable when somebody does something sick, like kills, take advantage of somebody, something, this is sick. But in the Bible, we are taught to forgive because all of us, in a way, are inherently evil. We're all sinful creatures. God doesn't want us to look at ourselves as better than those who are evil. Rather, we're the same as those who have did bad things. And that reminds us of why we need God to do good. Because without God, we can only do evil. Evil people can do quote unquote good things. You know, they can help somebody out. They can do this, that, and the other. But character wise, they are still an evil, selfish person. You know, and do I want to say all evil people deserve death? I believe in a way everyone is deserving of death because we've all sinned against God. We've all in some way or form disobeyed God and the wages of sin is death. I don't believe that it's good to want to wish death upon those who are evil. Now, am I saying that evil people should be let off easy? No, I feel like evil people already have their punishment coming to them by God. That's the person that they're going to have to pay for their sins to is God, not us. All I really would do is just pray that justice is done and pray that they have a change of heart. I know it's hard for a lot of people to do that because we are emotional beings as well. When we hear about somebody doing something cruel like kidnapping or killing people, the first thing we want is them to get punished severely for those actions. You know, the first thing we think is like this person deserves to be killed or this person deserves to be beat to death. And a lot of people, even online, will say that murderers, rapists, pedos, whoever deserve a humiliating, embarrassing death but Jesus loves all of us and we disobey him every single day I feel like it's too easy to hate in this world a lot of people don't like challenges we don't like what challenges ourselves or our spirit we like to take the easy route it's easier for a lot of people to say I hate this or I hate that or I hate you and it's harder for people to say I love you I forgive you it's harder for people to say I pray that this person is doing well despite what he has done to me I pray that he has a change of heart whatever he or she has done to me that they don't do to somebody else. Whoever wronged me, I pray that they don't do this to somebody else. I pray that they change. It's harder for us to do that. And especially these days because the internet markets off of hate. They market off of our feelings. Even political parties, they push certain things on the news to make you vote for this person or vote for that person because you'll say, I hate that these people are rioting. I hate that these people are causing violence. I hate that this is going on in our world. I hate that. I hate this. The media is evil like that. They're marketing off of our hate for one another. Our media is not promoting protection, love, care, or guidance. It's actually the complete opposite. They're pushing chaos. They're pushing misguidance. They are pushing all of this stuff onto us. There was other things I was viewing on the media and it's our music today is getting more and more like raunchy, vulgar, and just plain just degrading and undignifying. Like with the lyrics of some of these songs or nowadays songs that are getting around. It's terrible. Both for girl and guys. Guys talking about mistreating girls. Girls talking about mistreating guys. And sometimes talking about mistreating themselves. It's just like, what is our world coming to where this stuff 
is actually likable. If you say anything against it, they feel like you're just lame or it's just because I can't relate to it. I don't really try to judge others too harshly, I would say, or something like that because I can remember in a time where I was like that, you know? I have to have compassion because the people we see today doing all these wild things, although as a Christian we don't indulge in these things anymore, we were once those people doing those chaotic wild things. We were once those people who were perverted. We were once those people who were wild, who was unjust. We were once these people that are doing the stuff that they're doing today. The only difference is, is that we were reconciled with God. We decided to choose God and they didn't. But the way I feel like to lead them to God is obviously through compassion. It's not to be too harsh. Now, you don't have to be nice. Being nice isn't a requirement to being a Christian. I feel like a lot of people take that a little bit too far. They feel like Christians are supposed to be all happy, jolly, and bubbly. That's not what a Christian is. Christians just have to follow Christ, and Christ was very serious. Like, life isn't a happy and bubbly place to be. It's actually a very serious place to be. Our objective in life is to bring glory to God at the end of the day. It's to glorify God. Even in our own community with so-called self-professed Christians, you know, more on the progressive side, Christians that believe that Jesus said to love sin. Yes, we should love everybody, but we shouldn't love sin. We should always hate sin. We should hate murder. We should hate rape. We should hate these things. You're not the person, but the sin. I hate my own sins. For these people teaching us to accept sin or teaching more people to be accepting of sin is why the world is where it is today. It's because of that very thing. Our society has literally come to this. You know, like, you know how hard it is to find a godly relationship nowadays that is actually godly? To find somebody that won't be offended by the Bible. The Bible can offend us sometimes because it shows us how far we are from what God's original order was. If I wasn't a godly man, right? If I was doing something ungodly and I was reading the Bible and I was like, wow, that's ungodly. I'm going to say, like, you know what? I'm going to practice this. I'm going to try to get better. I'm going to see what I have to do to be more godly. I'm not trying to be like the world no Basically, I was making this video to say that I am going to start vlogging and I want to stay consistent with you guys. I hope you people really enjoyed this video. I love you all. God bless you all. Bye. 